Stop B. Emmett Smith's understudy last year. But injury forced Marcel Ship into a starting role, and he responds ready for more in this one. Cardinals Ram. It's game time. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi there, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Edward Jones Zone. And my sidekick, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have, uh, well, some very talented players holding down the safety positions. Wouldn't you agree? No question about it, Dan. Safeties are often literally the last line of defense. And these are reliable as they come. Dexter Jackson, he's a very talented free safety. He's very skilled at pass coverage. He's got the ability to stick to his man and just deny him the ball for the whole game. And here on the other side is another top-tier player. Aeneas Williams is an extraordinarily talented free safety. He always keeps himself totally focused on the task at hand so that he can play at his fullest capacity on every down. I'll tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses. But first, the coin toss. I choose tail. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Rackers kicks it, and we are underway. Harris decides to take it out of the end zone. Watches a tackle, dragged down at the 21. Harlan Harris got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Rams will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Down! Set! Ball takes his first carry of the game and gains about three yards. Adrian Wilson with the tackle. I'm on you, Tori. I'm on you. Single back, single back. The Rams, 24-yard line. Listen up, Gray, 37, down, set! Holger fires this one over the field. <laughs> Finally dropped at the 44. It will be first down. Isaac Bruce is in man-to-man -man coverage on this play and makes the most of it. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skill. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. First down with two tight ends to the right. We'll get the carry. Hands out right. Hammered down at the 49. That will bring up first down. Marshall Falk finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. He's got 
the first down, and a whole lot more. Mark Baldwin goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. After playing it pretty safe and short in the first quarter, he looks long and connects first time out. That's good. You want to aim for the cheap seats every now and then to keep the defense nervous. Wow, look at last year's stats. Talk about a great season. the call on first down and heads out right. Touchdown! It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Come on, Dave. Two runs, two runs. Runs. Don't give him anything. Now the extra point, and the extra point is good. It's good. a short one. Scobie gets it off the bounce at the center. Tackled at the 13. Josh Scobie tried to make something happen, but the defense grounded him before he got very far. Cardinals offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 13-yard line. Bolden goes in motion. Rips him down in the backfield and the clock will continue to run. Kyoka Jackson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Move it back, Chip. Down. Chip. Bray, 47. Bray, 47. up third down. Marcel Ship used the blocking, but this stingy okay. defense didn't Go. give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Third down from the shotgun. Take their first time off. Travis Fisher brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. They stopped them cold. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Player lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Player takes the snap and punts it away. Furry fair catches it at the 42. Offense takes the field with the clock at 13. Holt reels in the football and he's got the first down. The Rams will take a timeout. That's their second. No three, no three.
Wilkins with the 44-yard attempt, and it's no good short of the goalposts. Jeff Wilkins usually can make these with some regularity, but not today. Oh, something went wrong there from the game. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Rams are out in front, seven to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, Total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Rams should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Not much action early on, so we'll pick it up early in the second quarter. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall Falk let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. A 14-yard touchdown for the Rams. The Rams strike first and go up by seven. Rams late into the second quarter. Ball at their own 42. Torrey Holt is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. And that's where we'll leave this one. Rams are holding on to a lead, 7 to nothing. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall Falk has been unstoppable. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Cardinals will recede to start the second half, and this is a tight contest. Kirk